Joining us, the Republican candidates for South Carolina governor gathered on the campus of Clemson University tonight for a debate. That's right. The candidates talked about a range of topics, including jobs, roads, and the Department of Transportation. They seem to agree on some of them, including that the state doesn't need a hate crime law. Listen now to two of the responses. Those things are hard to define. People forget that we, we have so many laws. It's getting to, to where we are criminalizing things that are they're not even crimes. I look at what's going on in the universities, for example. You can hardly express your own opinion uh, exercising the First Amendment without getting carried into some sort of court to be held accountable on some, some spacious sort of sensitivity that nobody really ever even understood uh, years ago as being other than just expressing your own opinion. This, this notion about hate crimes is nothing more than a liberal agenda to violate free speech and to trample on people's religious liberties. So I will not support any sort of hate crimes. Now most of the candidates seem to agree that we need to enforce the laws that are already on the books. And that there should be a crackdown on gang activity across the state. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin was there for this debate tonight all evening long. She's live right now to tell us what some of the voters thought about all of this. Kirsten, how did it play with them? Yeah, well, things are definitely starting to heat up. Front runner candidates like Catherine Templeton and John Warren did take a few opportunities to take a jab at Governor Henry McMaster, but as well as at each other. Now, it was Catherine Templeton that really was vocal tonight about a lot of issues. She even embraced her nickname as the Buzzsaw, saying she got the nickname because she's earned it. At one point, she said, quote, let me tell you what I'm going to do when I go to Columbia. I'm going to take a bigger blade to my Buzzsaw. Uh, that nickname was given to her after cutting millions in spending and eliminated positions at DHEC. Uh, Warren used the spotlight tonight to highlight his inexperience in politics, calling himself the only political outsider on the stage, hoping to use that to his advantage. He also brought up his military experience several times in questions relating to keeping South Carolina children safe. Yancey McGill agreed on that particular subject, saying you can't put a dollar sign on the safety of a child. It was Kevin Bryant, who, when referring to school shootings, made a point to say the only way to stop a shooter is to shoot back. Now, a range of issues were covered tonight, but one point all candidates seemed to agree on was their stance as pro-life. And we did talk to voters who came to watch about what they thought about this debate. One Clemson student said it helped her make up her mind about who she's now supporting. I was kind of on the fence, but after coming in and seeing, you know, more up close their thoughts and their personal opinions on things, it kind of really narrowed it down to one candidate. And these GOP candidates will get another chance to debate about a week before the primary. As for the Democrats running for governor, they're going to be having a debate here at Clemson University tomorrow night. That also starts at 7 o'clock. We're live at Clemson tonight. I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Kirsten, I'm curious. You know, you have one candidate in this race who was the chief champion for President Trump here in South Carolina during that campaign. Was the president brought up a lot in the conversation? Did he have a did you hear a lot of Donald Trump mentions tonight during this? Honestly, Amy, we did not. The candidates did a very good job of sticking to the question and answering the questions because it was timed. So they did not bring up the president at all. They talked more about how they felt on particular issues. Interesting. Kirsten Glavin for us there tonight. Thank you.